What's going on y'all? Welcome back to the channel. I want to talk to you guys about how to take a shot that is done in portrait mode and make it landscape mode. You ready? Here we go. All right, so we're going to talk about this whole thing of making a shot that is in portrait mode, landscape mode. We're going to get this down. And the first thing that I want to say about this topic is this. You should never, ever, on your life, ever, film in portrait mode. It just should never be done. All right, that's the number one thing you can do to, to make sure that you don't ever have to go through this. You ever see somebody's filming and they got the black bars on the side? That's because they held that camera in portrait mode. You should never film that way. Your television, your computer, everything is designed to actually go in horizontal or landscape mode and you should always film in landscape mode. As you're looking at the screen right now with me, I am in landscape mode. But what I'm gonna do, for those of you who just refuse to flip your wrist and turn that camera sideways, I'm gonna show you why you should never do it, but I'm gonna show you how to make that shot work, okay? So this is how we do it. First thing we gotta do is we gotta go get some video. Now I went out and got some video footage specifically for this. Um, it felt weird and uh, I- They got uh, angered the film gods and they are upset with me, but I, I, I explicitly told them that I only did this for the purposes of making sure that you never do this. So they said, okay, and they forgave me. So here we go, let's go grab this footage. So the first piece of footage I wanna get is one that I see people do um, and if you look at it, you, you, when you look here, I've seen people just when you're filming outside, you're filming anything uh, that's going on, you got this shot and it looks like this. And I'm just scrolling through, I want you to see this. Um, and you can see how the shot looks. The first thing I want you to notice is that, let me make this full screen real quick. Let me turn the volume down, make this full screen. When we go to full screen, the first thing you notice is those black bars on the side. You should never, ever film like this so that you get these black bars. The reason you have these black bars is because your television, your computer monitor, none of those things are designed for this for this to be for anything to be filmed in this way. So you should never do this. So that's the first thing I want you to see. You're gonna get these black bars when you do that, okay? And you're gonna get this weird looking shot. Now some people as you can see I'm zooming in, you'll try to zoom in and all of that. That's not how you fix it. So let's come back out of there. So I'm gonna talk to you about how to fix it. In iMovie, there is a way to fix it, but I wanna show you why you never do this. So right here, I'm gonna take this exact same shot and I'm gonna crop in and I'm gonna fix it. So the way we do that is this, we go up here to where it says cropping and we make sure this crop to fit, okay? Once we got that, we click, I'm sorry, we click crop to fit and you'll notice that this box pops up. That box is your crop box and this is how you're gonna fix it. Now. It automatically, for whatever reason, jumped up here. Maybe it read it, maybe it recognized where the, the main part of the footage was. Whatever the reason was, it popped there, but you can slide this to where you want it in the footage, however you want that to be shot. So just like I'm doing here, you can move that around. I can even move it over here to those black boxes. And up here over there because you filmed it wrong. Um, so you, you, you got your shot like this. Once you have that shot set like this, if you click back down here, you'll notice that it zoomed in and it filled the screen. So now when I press play, I have the shot in. But here's what's gonna happen. Because I zoomed in, you notice it got grainy. Now this is back more close to the original shot. And to me, it looks okay, but it really, I think it can look better and there's a better way to do this. So that's how you would initially fix it. But I'm gonna show you another, another thing about this. Um, on fixing it. So I know some of you guys are ready to like click off. Great, I know how to fix it. Don't click off now because this is where it's gonna get good. Because I wanna show you the differences in these shots. So I'm gonna grab another shot here. And this shot of, of this car that I brought in, I want you to see this shot of this car. I've seen a lot of people shooting like video of, of cars or video of people or a crowd or whatever. And this is the normal shot that you'll see people do when they make this mistake as well. So you got the open shot where they're filming, you know, like at the beach or whatever, and they do it that way. And it looks okay. And then you have this shot. And notice like I'm trying to show this car, right? But I can't get the whole car in the shot. No matter what I do, that car will not come into the shot. This is why you never do it. So now, even if I did the same effect and tried to fix it, I'm gonna do it again real fast, 
Notice it popped back in. And now when I try to fix it, notice that the box does it, is unable to get the entire car in. So even though I jump out here and now it's there, I still have the same problem because I shot the video footage wrong. Notice how if you can see this to me, you can see it, you can see it's grainy. It's because it's trying to, it's trying to compensate for your bad shot. So what you should do is shoot that same car. I did not move my distance um, in this shot. I stayed in the same spot and shot the exact same car in landscape mode or turn the phone horizontally. And now you get a different shot. And now I'm able to get the entire car into the shot. This is why you never ever film that way. But if you do, or if someone gives you footage, there is a way to fix it. And that way is to simply uh, crop in using the crop feature. But I wanted you to see uh, the full shot and why you don't want to do it. I want to give you a good example on one. Let me go in here and turn this off so you go back to the original shot. On uh, one where the, the car is not in the photo properly and I, I can't get it in no matter what I do versus the one where I actually shot the car in the right aspect and now all of a sudden I have a much better shot of the car and now you can see the whole entire car in the shot it fills up the screen there's no loss in the uh, pixelation or anything like that it's all nice crisp and clear the way you actually want your shot to look so let's get out of there. Listen, please, whatever you do, do not film in portrait mode, ever. Always turn it sideways, get the wide angle shot. It gives you more room to crop. It gives you more room to work with. It makes the shot look much better. Right now I'm filming, I'm using my iPhone 11 and I have the phone turned to landscape mode so that I can get my entire shot and get in my shot and, and have my screen the way I want it. I want you to do the same thing. Listen, if you're enjoying what you're seeing and you're learning something, I want you to give me a thumbs up. I want you to go down in the comments, say something to me, talk to me. If you got a topic you want me to cover, go ahead and put that in there as well. I'll go ahead and cover those as I can get to them. Um, I got a couple more videos I'm gonna ready to do today. Uh, so I'm excited about it. We're gonna get this done. And if you haven't already, click uh, subscribe. Uh, again, like all of that. Share these videos with your friends, family, cousins, aunties, uncles, nieces, nephews, neighbors, anybody that you can think of that you have ever seen filming the wrong way. Make certain that you show them this video, okay? Listen, I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.